Pulling off your hair, eating ice or dirt, allergy to cold water and the sun, it's unreal. Let me talk to you about a couple of other very awkward medical conditions that happen in real life. Hello my friend, welcome to Chatterdocs. I'm Dr. Tor and I'm an internal medicine physician. This is Awkward Medical Conditions Part 2. So without further ado, let's dive in. Number one, trichotillomania. Everyone occasionally play with their hair, but if you start pulling them out obsessively and keep doing that until you make yourself bald somewhere, then there's a problem. The cause of this disorder is not fully known, but it's thought to be a subcategory of OCD or obsessive compulsive disorder, which means that there are some thoughts, some obsessive thought in your brain that make you do a compulsive action like pulling out your hair. It's not totally voluntarily, so if you just ask that person, hey, stop doing that, they cannot simply do that. So the person will start having bald patches in the hair, in the beard, or even in eyebrows and eyelashes, which will make further emotional distress for them. Treatment of that is usually going to psychiatrist and getting an OCD-based treatment. Number two, pie cup. Have you seen children eating weird things like stones, dirt, ice, chalk, and things like that? Well, there might be a reason for that. This usually happens when the person has low levels of iron or zinc in their blood. So for some reason, they start craving for ice or dirt or chalk or stone, shit like that. I once had a young female patient who came with a lot of broken teeth. And when I asked further questions, I figured she's eating a lot of ice. So I checked her blood work and I figured she has a severe anemia or low blood levels due to heavy periods. When we treated her anemia, her pica also went away and then we could fix her teeth and she was fine after that. This condition usually happens in children, but it can happen in adults or even pregnant women. Numero tres, cold allergy. During the cold season, especially here in Northeast, everyone think that they have allergy to cold because, you know, cold sucks. But there is a real disorder called familial cold autoinflammatory syndrome or FACS that basically causes the person to develop real allergy symptoms when they are in cold weather. They can have a lot of different symptoms like rash, joint pain, fever, nausea, vomiting, blurry vision, fatigue, and so forth. These symptoms usually arise within one or two hours of the person being in the cold and they can last up to 12 to 24 hours. This is an inherited condition that a mutation will cause some problems in the immune system that gets activated with cold weather. So if you, my friend, think you're the only one who hate cold, just think about these poor people. Numero 4, Vampire Syndrome. You may think vampires only exist in spooky movies or stories, but there's an actual medical condition that causes people to be vampires. It's called xeroderma pigmentosome and it's a rare skin disorder that makes people's skin sensitive to UV lights. In some of these people, after even being in the sun for 10 minutes, they will start having blisters and rashes on their skin. They have a 10,000 fold increased risk of getting skin cancer, so they really better avoid the sun. The only difference is they don't go out in the dark and drink people's blood. Number five, water allergy. Apart from being a lame excuse not to go take a shower, water allergy is actually a real medical condition. Aquagenic urticaria is a condition in which skin develops itchy rash after coming into contact with water. Since contact with water is essential, at least for some of us, this condition is usually treated with antihistamines, lotions, and medicine like that. Since in the last episode I skipped one and I only talked about four, I'm gonna give you a bonus in this one and talk about another awkward medical condition. Number six, stone man syndrome. Stone man syndrome or fibromyalgia ossificans progressiva. Seriously man, why wouldn't you put English names for these disorders? Anyways, this is a genetic condition that causes tendons, ligaments, and muscles to turn into bone. This can make it hard for the person to move or even to breathe or eat. And the worst part is any trauma, even minor trauma, can cause their muscles to start turning into bone and literally making the person like a stone, hence the stone man syndrome. This condition is very rare and only about 800 cases have been reported so far. I once had a young, I once had a young, <coughs> Blairu, as I told you before, there are hundreds of awkward medical conditions around us. So if you want me to keep making these episodes, leave a comment down below and don't forget to smash the like button. I'll see you in my next video.